Did I scare you? Probably not. I originally wasn't planning on doing a makeup tutorial for this look, but one of my friends was like, post a video of it, and I was like, sure, why not? So, hey friend, how you doing? You wanna see how I did this? Keep watching. Before I did any of the makeup, I applied some colored hairspray. It's just to make it look a little bit more creepy and because it's red, it kind of makes it look like, <laughs> look like blood. After you apply the hairspray, it's always a good idea to go over with a cloth or a makeup wipe just to get rid of any of the excess red that might get on your face because you don't want that mixing in with the white and making pink. You're scary clown, not a cute one. The next thing is to put in some creepy contacts, which is completely optional, but it ups the creepy factor and makes it look like 30 times better. For people who aren't used to wearing contacts, this step might take a while, but I wear contacts every day, so this is easy peasy. <laughs> Woo! Dun, dun, dun. Next step is applying some white face paint. I just got some from the Halloween store. I think next time I'll probably get better face paint. It's just this is what was cheap-ish and readily available. Just getting in my hair. Oh, got them eye wrinkles, dope. Nice. <laughs> Now it doesn't really look that much paler from me normally. Also, I'm not trying to make this look professional in any way. I literally just did this to answer the door for trick-or-treaters. I did notice something about this. If you try and layer it, the top layer will stick to the bottom layer and just kind of like lift it off. So you get like blotches in places, which actually kind of makes it look more like killer zombie clown. Is there any movies out there with killer zombie clown? If there are, they're probably garbage, but I still watch it. And once you look like you're in desperate need of some sunshine, you can go in and apply some black eyeliner. Next, I'm gonna go in and do the diamonds around the eyes. For this, I just used a orange lipstick. I look like a mime. Oh, I'm trapped inside the box that is life. Whoa, shit just got deep. Using a small eyeshadow brush. You don't have to get so close to the waterline with this because you're gonna go in with black eyeshadow afterwards anyway. The diamonds. Next, I'm going in to do the eyebrows, which I just used black eyeliner for. I'm gonna start off with two lines, then you just kind of go in with the line, something like that. And then you just follow the shape of your brow. And then at the end, you're gonna do pretty much the same thing and create another one. And then you just gotta color them in. Also, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's gonna be a little bit patchy going down the middle. And if it is, you can just go in and fill it in with some black eyeshadow. Doesn't really look that creepy yet, but it will, I promise. Next, I'm gonna go in and do the lips using the same brush I used to do the diamonds on the eyes. I'm just using a another lipstick. You're just gonna wanna overdraw your lips and make them look more round. Once you got the desired roundness of the lips that you want, you can go out and draw the mouth. I just used the lipstick for this part instead of using the brush because it just worked a lot faster. <laughs> Looking good, yes. Man, I'm starting to wet in this. Next I'm going in with some black eyeshadow. Going into the eyebrows first, just to cover in any holes. Next is to take that same black eyeshadow and go in around the eyes. Once you have something like this, you're gonna go in and blend it out a little bit. Looks like my eyes when I wake up in the morning. And next I'm gonna go in some more, you guessed it, black eyeshadow for the lips. Completely forgot to do my nose. Whoops. And lastly, you gotta go in and draw a nose, which I should have done when I was doing the lips, but I completely forgot because you know I'm a I'm a professional like that. 
Okay, once you have that on, I'm gonna go in with more black eyeshadow. Just around the edges and kind of create a circle in the middle. Next, some more black eyeshadow for basically contouring your face with. And that is the look. Put your hair down, style it however you want. And that completes this makeup tutorial for a creepy killer clown. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys next week. Definitely gonna look like a murder scene in my shower once I wash this out.